Hi, good evening. My name is James Varikama, and I welcome you to Renewal and Rebirth with Olive Organs. Today I'm going to share music on the theme Triumphal Entry. And so I will share a few hymns with you. Wherever you are, just open your hymn books or your phone or wherever you can get the text and sing along. Meditate on the words of the tunes I play to you and let's all worship God. Think of God as we meditate and sing along. It's going to be wonderful. Please stay with me. Don't go anywhere. The first hymn I will do with you is from the MHB 84. I'm only referring to the MHB because that is what I know. MHB simply means the Methodist Hymn Book. So, our hymn 84 is all glory, Lord, and honor to thee, Redeemer King who from the lips of children make sweet hosannas ring. I'm sure you get it from many other hymn books. So look for it wherever you can get it online or whatever. Or be proud of your church. Open to your church's hymnal and find it. Um, and let's meditate along. Thank you.
The next hymn is from the MHB 152, and um, the title is What Means This Eager Anxious Throng? It's a very popular music for the people called Methodists. And it's a narration of uh, what happened. Hey, I don't know even what happened. From the hymnist point, she's giving a narration. I mean, the composer of the test is called Elta Campbell. And uh, she's giving a narration of a lot of people meeting around Jesus, whom the people didn't know. And uh, someone is questioning that who is that person? Why are people gathered here? And uh, why are there so many people gathered and talking? What is happening there? And uh, someone gives a response that Jesus of Nazareth. Listen to how she puts it. She says, what means this eager, anxious throng? A throng is a gathering of many people. So she's asking questions. Someone is asking, what means this anxious throng? Which moves with busy haste along this wondrous gathering day by day? What means this strange commotion, pray, in ascent hushed? The throng reply, Jesus of Nazareth, passed by. So the person, the person still continues to ask the question, who is this Jesus and why should he, the city, move so mightily? Why should he move the city so mightily? A passing stranger? Has he skill to move the multitude at will? Again, Someone responds that it is Jesus of Nazareth. So the narration is about the life of Jesus Christ and what he did when he came. He says that Jesus, it is he who once below man's pathway, he trod amid pain and woe. And burden once wherever he came, brought out their sick and deaf and uh, lame. The blind rejoice to hear the cry, Jesus of Nazareth passed by. The blind rejoice to always hear the cry, Jesus of Nazareth passed by. And then he finishes with, with the stanza five, which says that in this our present age, Jesus still is in the miracle business. It, is, it says that, oh, all ye heavy laden, come. Here is pardon, comfort, rest, and home. He wanders from a father's face. Return, accept his prophet grace. Ye tempted ones, there is refuge nigh. Because Jesus of Nazareth is still passing, and he will pass here again tomorrow. So please be ready and come to him. The tune is Stamford, composed by S. Rear.
Our next hymn is Ride On, Ride On in Majesty. Ride On, Ride On in Majesty is from the Methodist Hymn Book 192. It's an interesting hymn and it's a favorite of many people. Ride On, we sing it on um, Palm Sundays or Triumphal Entry Sundays. The Savior is riding on to die, to go and die. So uh, let me just give you an, a simple assumption or an example of someone who knows very well that uh, you have, he has been sacrificed. Maybe he's been used for sacrifice. You are going to die for our family next week. If you call him today and set a party for him or make him ride even in a, a Rolls Royce, he is aware and knows that on Monday he's going to die. And uh, I'm not sure that person will still enjoy the party you are setting or you're having for him. He knows definitely he's going to die. So this is our Savior's case. But he was happy about the sacrifice, even for the people who don't love him. He's going to die for the people. They're giving him all the fans, all they're healing him. The Savior meek, pursue thy road with palms and scattered garments, but in lonely pomp, ride on to die. Let's meditate on this powerful test of the hymn. Our next hymn is Soldiers of Christ, Arise and Put Your Armor On. This is a hymn written by our father, Charles Wesley. And in the period of Lent, or as we finish our Lent into the triumphal entry, 
He is urging us as soldiers of Christ to arise and put our armor on. Strong in the strength which God supplies through his eternal son. He says, strong in the Lord of hosts and in his mighty power, who in the strength of Jesus' trust is more than conqueror. Very powerful test. Very powerful test. is encouraging us to trust in Jesus and also put our armor on. The last stanza of the hymn is very important. It says that leave no unguarded place. Leave no unguarded place. No weakness of the soul. These are the instructions. Says, leave no unguarded place. So guard every place. Don't weaken the soul. No weakness of the soul. But take every virtue and every grace and fortify the whole. Leave no unguarded place. Take every virtue, every grace and fortify the whole indissolubly joined to battle or proceed, but arm yourselves with all the mind that was in Christ your head. final hymn for today's segment is Children of Jerusalem. Um, I am pretty sure that everybody loves this tune. Everybody loves it. And um, especially uh, the Methodist people, every Palm Sunday, this is a hymn for children. And uh, even the congregation sings it. Children of Jerusalem is found in the MHB 837. The text is a narration. It starts with a narration and um, a command. It says, children of Jerusalem sang the praise of Jesus' name. Children, two of modern days, join to sing the Savior's praise. So that's a command. Children of modern days, you also have to join to sing the Savior's praise. Because it was custom, children of Jerusalem, they sang 
the praise of Jesus' name. Hark! What infant, wild infant voices sing loud hosannas to our King. Let's all meditate on this. Let's join and sing. It says we are taught to love the world, to love the Lord. We are taught to read His word. We are taught the way to heaven. Praise for all to God be given. Parents, teachers, old and young, all unite to swell the song higher yet higher rise till hosannas reach the sky. Hark! While infant voices sing loud hosannas to our King. All too soon, we have come to the end of this very edition of Renewal and Rebirth. I believe it was a blessing to you and you were able to meditate with the hymns I played on the organ. Remember, it's Renewal and Rebirth with olive organs. As we go into the Easter period, remember that you were one of the reasons why the Savior came. And uh, this period will help you rethink and relive, renew, and have a rebirth for the Savior. Thank you, and God bless you.